Welcome back to another edition of Tailgate Talk here at SunJournal.com. Justin Pelletier, Randy Whitehouse, Cali Oaks, Class C, Week 2. Here we Brought go. Brought to you by the letter C. Five, five games on tap for our area teams this week here in Class C. Let's start with Jay and Moran Cook. Jay, winners they get to of play a play finally. Yay! They, they, winners of a one nothing for what that's worth game last week in a forfeit win over uh, Sacopee Valley, which didn't have enough players to compete. They canceled earlier in the week, and yeah, one nothing, which makes absolutely no sense to me. But anywho, now we get some testing here for uh, for the Jay Tigers, and they go look up against Moran. It was a test last year at home. They held on to beat Moran Cook. Moran Cook, one of those teams that got better as the season went along last year, returns a lot of that cast. Had kind of a uh, speed bump down at Trape, which, which doesn't happen to me. It hasn't happened to many teams in recent years, but penalties hurt them in, in the red zone from what I hear. Lost that one 13 to 8. They've still got Luke Emery, a 1,000-yard rusher. Connor LaCase is, uh, is there for them. And Jay's uh, got some new faces. They're trying to work into the skill positions. Uh, quarterback Zach Bonnevy has taken some snaps the last couple of years, but it's his job now full time. We'll see how he handles that. A couple of new running backs, uh, some new receivers. Jake Bessie has shown promise on both offense and defense. We'll see about the Tigers. The numbers are kind of in the mid-20s again. There. Right. Numbers yeah. are getting there finally. I mean, last year they were scraping around with, what, 17, 18, At 19 At the end kids. of the season, yeah, it was low 20s early in the year. It's more like high 20s now. They've got some bodies. They've got some experience in the offensive line, Matt Froman, Matt Lancaster. So they'll be a force to, to, to be reckoned with. They'll be in every game just about exception of maybe a couple of teams we'll talk about later that are going to dominate that league, one in particular. Lisbon, Old Orchard Beach, Randy, Lisbon uh, team you saw last week, small in stature, but certainly not on heart and certainly not in ability. They've been coached up real well, and they just continually seem to do well in this league. Yeah, just a completely dominant effort last week against Oak Hill. Uh, the front line just uh, tore, tore the Raiders apart on both sides of the football. Uh, and, and they're enjoying the fruits of having uh, their interior line together for the last couple of years. Uh, they have a couple of kids out on the perimeter at the tackle spots that they're still trying to get into the into the program a little bit. But when you got Luke Karen in the backfield, uh, a quarterback most of the time, and Toby Harrington a running back, but also running out of the Wildcat, you've got some explosive, explosive players back there. And uh, Old Orchard Beach uh, just got uh, absolutely uh, destroyed by uh, by Yarmouth last week. And I bet Lisbon kind of want to make a, a statement to uh, to the team that looks like uh, it's going to be their biggest rivals in, in the Campbell Conference uh, South uh, and uh, and have a similar amount of success against OLB. Livermore Falls takes a long trip up to Madison this week. Livermore Falls, do you think, are going to be rewarded for a long trip up to Madison this week, or is that going to be a tough one? No, I, I think they'll be uh, have a good shot at going 2-0. You know, our coaches say it is what it is. Livermore Falls, I think you got to say about them, they do what they do. They did it again against Booth Bay. They run their wing tee. They've got an all-senior offensive line. They've got a mostly underclass backfield. A lot of those guys showed promise. You know, in the past, Livermore Falls has had to use pretty much one guy and lean on them for 25, 30, 40 carries a game even. Uh, that doesn't seem to be the case this year. They kind of alternated at fullback. Split carries between Tommy Lee and Brent Biot. They both got in the end zone. Biot scored twice. They've got Alex Rose who can fly kind of on the outside as the halfback. He, he had a score at over 100 yards. Andes have no shortage of weapons. Uh, they could be uh, kind of one of the dark horses to watch in that week. But the other team you saw last week against Lisbon was Oak Hill and they get the uh, the juggernaut apparently that is Yarmouth. Yarmouth uh, putting up a lot of points against OOB last week. Uh, what do you see here? Well, uh, you know, it's going to start up front again for Oak Hill. Uh, Yarmouth has a lot of speed and that's tough to compete with, but when, you're, when your front line uh, isn't uh, holding blocks on the offensive side or shedding blocks on the defensive side, you just make things that much more difficult for your people in the backfield. Uh, Oak Hill uh, struggled running the ball. Uh, struggled throwing the ball just simply because they didn't have time last week. Uh, Yarmouth, uh, as we said earlier, took apart Old Orchard Beach. Uh, it, it's a big game for, for Oak Hill confidence-wise uh, more than anything else. Uh, they'd love to have the points that come with the game, but I think they need it for, for their confidence. More than and of course, Winthrop and Dirigo, Cal, we've got uh, 2008 Class C West champion versus the 2009 Class C West champion, uh, Dirigo riding at 13 game winning streak, but uh, this might be the week there, it comes all, uh, all to an end. Well, the 2008 champion, certainly the 2010 favorite, Winthrop put up 64 points against Madison in the first half 
last week. Durago had some trouble against Freeport, a team they beat 74 to six last year. So Winthrop, I get, you gotta think it's the favorite going in. They've, they've got Ryan Conant, they've got Derek Pamphrey, they've got some guys that can fly, some guys that can grind out the yardage. Travis Lewis at quarterback that can do a few things to, to move the ball through the air. They've kind of got the balance that Derrigo had last year. Derrigo has got a new quarterback in Ben Holmes. They got to do some things with him to run the option and create space for Spencer Ross. They're at home, they're riding the winning streak, but I think Winthrop's got revenge in their minds after the playoffs last year. Thank you, Cal. Thank you, Randy. Tailgate talk here at sunjournal.com every week right here at sunjournal.com slash SJVarsity. Justin Pelletier again, Cal Yokes, Randy Whitehouse. Until next week, see ya.